Hi students, now let's see uh, the program on method with arguments and with return values. Okay, so here I'm taking the class sample. Uh, so let me take a method with return type integer and the method name is, a, I'm just taking a square with arguments. I'm just taking one argument. Okay, so what type of argument it is? It's a, a, a primitive data type, right? Now, uh, int, I'm taking another variable B, A, uh, it's a square, A into A, A square. Okay, the value that is stored into the integer of uh, B and the return type is, uh, means return the value, return B. Okay, so this is my method. What type of method is? It is an instance method. Now, public static void main string out. So, First, the class sample is going to be loaded. So then open press executed. Controller comes to the here main function. So open press executed. Now here object has to be created. So the instance variables can be accessed by using only the object or object reference. So if you want to access, this is an instance method, right? So if you want to access the instance method, you have to create an object or object reference. Means you have to access by using an object reference or an object, right? So uh, int return type is there. So that's why int x is equal to new sample. I'm directly using an object. I'm calling my instance method by using an object. Here sample is my object. I'm calling instance method square. Instance method square. So let's take four. So this is. I'm calling, this is an instance method. So the instance method is called by using an object. Okay, so it's called, uh, the controller comes to here, the four, whatever the four value is there, four into four, that is uh, a B contains uh, uh, 16. Okay, so that value has to be printed, right? So system dot out dot print ln. Okay, so X is an object reference. So this B value will be stored in the hash code, the object reference X. So try to print that. So this is one way of calling. So now I want to access uh, by using an object reference. Sample D is equal to new sample. So instead of calling uh, directly with an object, I'm calling an instance method. This instance method I'm calling by using an object reference D. So there is a return type, right? So if return type is not there, you can directly mention D dot square of something like uh, five, okay? But the return type is there. So here I'm mentioning a method with return type and with arguments. So return type is there. So int y is equal to d dot square of five. So then try to print that value. System dot out dot print ln. Okay. And y. So that's it. So this is a method, instance method with arguments and with return value integer, okay? So I had explained two ways of calling. The instance method is called by using an object, by using an object and by using an object reference, by using an object reference. So these two steps is by using object reference and this is an object, okay? So try to execute the program, open the command prompt, Okay, sorry. So now, so first, what what do you have to get? Uh, Java C sample dot Java. So my file name is a sample sample dot Java. So I'm compiling the program. So after compilation, you have to run the program. So some error is there. So let's see what is that error. So in which state, uh, method print ln. Okay, so method print ln in which uh, line it is, it is mentioned Java 14th line. So 14th line, sorry, I had written mistake, print ln. Okay, so finding errors is also very easy in Java programming language. It will clear in uh, given in a simple language. 
So Java sample is my class name. See here, four square, four into four, 16. Five square, five into five, 25. So this is a program uh, uh, by using a uh, instance method is called by using an object and object reference. So here I want to give some clarity on this. So let me explain you here. So what type of argument it is? What type of argument it is? It is a formal argument. We call it as a formal argument, right? A formal argument. Okay. So next, uh, what type of method it is? Uh, we call it as this completely, first of all, this completely, what did you mean? What do you mean this? This is what? So this is nothing but method definition. Method definition. So try to understand the technical terms here, a method definition. Okay. And what is this? This is nothing but a written statement, right? It is a written statement. Okay. So then what about this statement? What about this? Int square of int a, completely what we call it is. This is called as a method signature. This is a method signature. A starting, right? Int square int a, this is a method signature. We call it as method signature. So the, this, sorry, this is, this you call it as a method signature. Square of int a is a method signature. Then int square of int a, the complete thing, you call it as a method declaration. Method declaration. So what do you see in here? This int square of int a, this complete, we call it as a method declaration. Whereas square of int a is a method signature. And integer a, you call it as a formal argument. And complete these uh, statements, complete uh, block, you call it as a method definition. And written b is the written statement. And what about the method body? So inside this, we call it as a method body. See how many terminologies are there. So don't get confused whenever these terminologies are used. So inside statements, complete all statements, we call it as a method body. Okay. And complete uh, method, you call it as a method definition. Okay. And what type of it is? This is, what is this? This one and this one. This two, you call it as what? Int x is equal to new sample square of 4. Int y is equal to d dot square of a. So these two, we call it as a method call statements. We are calling the method by using these statements, right or wrong? Method call statements. Because by using an object reference and by, use, uh, by using an object and by using object reference, we're calling this method call statements. Okay. And what type, what is this? This is the actual argument actual argument so here the a you call it as a formal argument because i didn't mention this is a formal argument but the actual value is here i mentioned in the main uh, main so this is an actual argument and here the five is also an actual argument actual argument so these are the simple terminologies you have to remember that right so Method signature, formal arguments, uh, actual arguments, and these two steps, we call it as a method call statements. So I hope you understand uh, the concepts here. The main concept I want to clarify here is nothing but uh, this is a method with arguments and with return values. Okay, so this is a method with return value and this is a with arguments. So I hope you understand it clearly. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Okay, so still we will work on with more examples.